How's it going y'all? This is Ryan De La Garza with another Desmos demo. So what I'm going to be looking at here is a target practice coordinate graphing activity where we're taking uh, an ordered pair from a table and we're using it to plot inside the circle, right? So students would come in and they would say like, all right, I want negative three and let's seven, right? What I love about this is students can determine their own success because right now I could say I'm cool with that point being in there or I could keep going in and tweaking to kind of get where I want it to be. And then I can press this button and I can move the target around. So we're going to break this down in two parts. First thing we're going to say is how do I even get this ordered pair onto the graph? So we're going to start with that. So I've got a setup here, graph two, note two, and table two. I like those twos because I'm on slide two. Uh, and I already have our circle formula in there. So let's go ahead, we need to add our point in as well. So I'm gonna make it a movable point. And right now it's getting its value from the sliders. That's how it knows where to plot it. But we need to pull it from the table component. So let's come into our computation layer. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna start off and I wanna make my ordered pairs, I need to pull those. So I'm gonna create a list called point. I'm gonna do that by parsing out the ordered pair. So what parsing means is I'm taking it and I'm separating it out into pieces. So I'm gonna do that by looking at table two and I'm gonna take table two cell content from first row, first column. So what I'm doing here is I'm making a list by separating out the ordered pair that I found in table two cell, uh, one one so row one column one um, and this is just so we know this is taking it and making these numbers into a string so that means it's going to look at these numbers as text so that'll come up when we go to make our numbers now so now i want to have my x value so i'm going to say x1 and i'm going to do that by taking the numeric value of the list point and the x coordinate so i'm going to take the x coordinate from my point list which i got right up here and i'm going to take its numeric value so then i'm going to do the same thing for y so y1 and we're going to do numeric value and this is point dot y so now if i come out i've created an x value and a y value by looking at my list point and taking the numeric values for x and y so let's check out the preview. Let's see how we did. So if I come four, two, bam, I got my point right there. So that's how we're taking a point and bringing it in. So our refresh on what we did. I took one inputted coordinate from my table source. I separated it out into two values and I put that in a list that I called point. Then uh, those values, I had one X and one Y value, right? So that's where we came and called those up later. Then I wanted to make numbers in my graph, an X and a Y, by taking the numeric values of that point X and point Y. And that's how we took our number from a table and moved it over into our graph element. So thank you all for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And happy Desmosing.